it's a great day at the academies at Frederick Douglass High School. We are excited um, to announce, confirm, and move forward with this great partnership today. We're also excited to have so many distinguished guests join us today as we celebrate continued movement here at the academies at Frederick Douglass High School. In a brief conversation with the mayor, she mentioned it's a new day at Douglas. I agree with her, but it's a new season at Douglas as well. A season where we can continue to celebrate the great young people who are assembled here in our school, the young people who have chosen to make this school the best school in the district. As a turnaround school, we know the label comes from poor academic achievement, poor culture and, culture and climate, and uh, just situations that can deem a school a school that needs turnaround. But as the principal here at Frederick Douglass High School, I not only say that our school has turned around, turned around, but I say that our school is moving in the right direction. When we look out into the audience and we see parents, community members, our band, our recording arts and media production a team in front of us, and we look behind and we see a host of great partners, the NFL, the Mayor's Office, Family League of Baltimore. When we look out and we see our partners from Druid Heights and Under Armour and partners throughout the district, we know as a school community that it takes an entire community to transform a school. So with that, we are always humbled by those who assist in moving the work forward. As the principal of this school, I'm honored. Two years ago, we were in the position where we were not on a brand new football field. Our track was dilapidated and we could not hold a track meet here even if we tried. We did not have all the best technology, nor were we a school where many partners would want to invest in. But through the deliberate, relentless efforts of our students, we are becoming a school that is to be reckoned with throughout the school community. We are the academies at Frederick Douglass High School. Throughout the past two years, my students know that, or they think that I'm not too fond of sports. But I am fond of sports. I'm fond of the kids who hit the field every day and the fact that they should work to be great student athletes. So as we celebrate our athletic program, we celebrate student athletes and the academic approach that we must take in terms of engaging young people. So today, I would like to celebrate the students who participate with our football program as they are 3-0 and and moving to becoming 10-0. So this day is an awesome day that we're talking about a team that is not only winning on the field, but students who are great in the building. Just to thank a couple of people, I would like to thank Ms. Michelle Harper, our new academic coach, who has traveled a long way to come here to little old Baltimore City on a small campus called Frederick Douglass High School to work with some amazing young people. And I would like to thank Coach Elwood Townsend, an amazing man who chose to coach here when we were not on turf, when the field was dilapidated when there were barely uniforms to even field his entire team. To Coach Towson, I am forever indebted because he chose to stay the course and remain relentless. <laughs> to Coach Queen, who is the athletic director, who came here in the midst of turnaround, but has brought our school community and our athletic program to a place where the pride of Douglas is back. So we often say, quack, quack, the ducks are back. I could say, many other things about our school community. But what I would say that it is the efforts of folk like Alex from the uh, Family League, Dr. Spikes who helped to coordinate this great event, Dr. Pat who have her record has her recording arts and media production folk out, the mayor's office who has supported this school for years, and other great partners who have supported this work. So with that said, I am excited and I welcome each of you to our campus, to our home, to our place, to our school, where we have one vision, one mission, one goal, and one cause, one Douglas, relentless. Thank you, Dr. Hurt. 
My name is Jonathan Rondo, and I'm honored to be the president and CEO of the Family League of Baltimore. And on behalf of the Family League, I'm excited to announce this great partnership that brought together two strong institutions with tremendous history and legacy, the National Football League and the academics at Frederick Douglass High School. At the Family League, our business is forming partnerships to improve the lives of children and youth. We are proud to be building innovative programs to support Douglas student athletes in improving their grades while representing their school on the football field. The Family League is no stranger to Frederick Douglass High School because of our work through our community and school engagement strategy. This strategy brings together community resources to help students focus on school and strengthen families at the same time. First and Goal is a great fit here at Douglas because Douglas has great roots in the Baltimore community. Its teachers, parents, guidance counselors, and alumni are committed to making stu sure students have every opportunity to be successful. Although this is a pilot program now, we have a vision that this effort will be expanded in the future. It's the Families League mission to make families stronger in Baltimore and programs like this, which can combine academic achievement and school activity does just that. Our partnership and this partnership with the NFL has been great and it demonstrates how well the Family League, the mayor's office and others can align goals around a great organization like the NFL. Through this collaboration, we're able to take the NFL's prep platform and adapt it to the students here at Douglas. First and Goal is a perfect fit in our approach of attracting corporate partners like the smart, um, looking for smart investments and promising new initiatives. It's our long-term vision to bring more community investment to the table in supporting Baltimore's children, youth, and families. It certainly does not hurt when you have a partner with a combined value of $30 billion like the National Football League. I'd like to thank Dr. Hurt for his participation in this program. It takes a talent, talented and visionary leader like Dr. Hurt and other school leaders to make work like this happen. The Family League is proud to be working with school leaders like Dr. Hurt across the entire city to make our schools great. I'd also like to thank Troy Vinson, Vice President of NFL Player Engagement for his leadership in this effort. And I'd also like to thank the Ravens for their support of this program and the community of Baltimore. They are all great ambassadors for the city. Finally, I'd like to thank Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake for making the link between the Family League and the NFL to bring this pilot program project to Baltimore. With that, I'd like to now introduce David Tyree, a former Raven and Super Bowl champ who is now with NFL Player Engagement. Good afternoon. I do stand here before you this wonderful, delightful, lovely sunny morning, not just as a former player in the National Football League, but I stand before you on behalf of these young men as a peer who, who was able to receive the fruits of what athletics can be as a catalyst toward a fruitful life as an individual, as a citizen, as an athlete, as a leader. And that's really what First and Goal is all about. Um, I stand behalf, on behalf of our Senior Vice President Troy Vincent as well as the entire staff at in the National Football League and the Player Engagement Department. And this, and the, and this division and the mission of our department is very simple. The mission at P is to revolutionize and the personal and professional growth of football players through continuous guidance and support before, during, and beyond their NFL experience. So this is a tremendous fit with our prep platform, which we, which we exist to provide high school and collegiate student athletes of all sports with tools to assist them to succeed in life which focuses on awareness, prevention, intervention, and education. So and there's, a, there's a few other reasons why we stand here today, which we can definitely feel very, very excited about this par partnership with the Family League, as well as the academies of Frederick Douglass. Not only, obviously, you'll have a, your, your, your wonderful defending Super Bowl champion Baltimore Ravens are here today on behalf of their support but even more so, we, we've, we've found that through our own studies, the state of Baltimore represent, is, represents number six on the list 
from where most of our talent comes from throughout the National Football League. And even better, over 95% of the talent that comes out of Maryland comes out of Baltimore County. So we feel like we're definitely in the right place to make a right investment to the future, uh, not just so it pertains to, as it pertains to the National Football League, but the future of these young men so that they can become the rightful inheritors of, of, of a fantastic future education as they become tomorrow's leaders. So we're thrilled, uh, we're thrilled and we're thankful and grateful to be here. And on, on behalf of the National Football League, we do want to thank our partners who have invested much in the, at the Family League, and even more so the wonderful personality of Dr. Hurt, which you all know. So I do want to thank you for the time. It's been a delight, and we, we expect to see these young men flourish, to do well, and be tremendous representatives as men on and off the field. Thank you. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good morning. All right. Thank you, David. David Tyree. Uh, you know, David made a great catch in a real important game. I just can't remember what team it was. So. <laughs> but I will say this. David is a former Baltimore Raven uh, and now representative of the NFL's player engagement department and their first and goal initiative. Uh, this prep, prep platform initiative in a lot of ways is right in line with the Ravens philosophy. That philosophy is to get uh, smart football players because smart football players play better football. We love that. We know that works. As you know, we not only have talented football players, we not only have tough football players, but I'm here to tell you that we also have players who know the value in preparing for life after football is over, more specifically, uh, pursuing their college degree. To that end, uh, this year the Ravens have broke their own team record. This year we have 44 graduates uh, on our football team, more than we've ever had before. And more to come this spring. Well, today isn't all about the Ravens. Uh, it's about the high school athletes here at Frederick Douglass High School, who will be setting a new standard academically with the help of Ms. Michelle Harper. No, today is really about the families in this community whose student athletes will raise the bar academically, infusing hopeful expectations into the mayor's goal of growing Baltimore by 10,000 families. She is our 49th mayor. In 2011, her first full time as mayor, she received 87% of the mayoral election. Uh, she is serious about the people of Baltimore receiving an opportunity that only education provides. Please welcome with me, if you will, Mayor Rawlings Blake. Mayor. Good morning, everyone. I am so proud to be here with all of you, and I'm particularly pleased uh, that we have been joined by Councilman Nick Mosby, who is dressed up like you, you, you look like you went to Douglas. You got on the colors and everything. Only thing you're missing on your jacket is a patch. But I think Dr. Hurt can get you one of those, right? He can get you a patch. I am uh, so pleased to be here on this beautiful, beautiful uh, renovated football field. Doesn't this look beautiful? Yeah. Almost makes you want to exercise. Almost. <laughs> So sports programs are an ideal way for young people to learn the skills that will carry them throughout their whole life. But pro athletes do not play forever. The average American pro athlete only plays into the pros until the age of about 33. 28 is the average age of retirement for NFL players. The competitive spirit learned through sports can be leveraged in many parts of life. And we're blessed in Baltimore to have so many examples of players who've done just that. So thanks to the NFL player engagement, the Family League, Douglas High School, and the First and Gold program, we have a better way to leverage the transferable skills learned on the field into other aspects of life. 
the program's full-time academic coach, Michelle Harper. Welcome, Ms. Harper. Ms. Harper will play a pivotal role in shaping Douglas's football players into well-rounded adults. And I will say from the looks of this uh, team and from my experience with them, you have great clay which, from which to mold into to incredible um, scholar athletes. I know that you will be very successful. This program will uh, complement the work that the Family League is already doing throughout uh, the city through its community and school engagement strategies. These programs will help our young athletes take a vigorous approach that they take on the football field and apply to the game of life. I want to thank uh, the principal, Principal Hurt, for all of his hard work and his leadership, his uh, excitement and his vision for Douglas and for the greater community. I want to thank uh, Jonathan Rondo with the Family League. I want to thank David Tyree and uh, Harry Swain. And I also want to thank the former uh, president of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, the former mayor of Trenton, uh, Doug Palmer, who was so instrumental in uh, making sure that Baltimore more was uh, represented in the NFL program. Thank you very much, uh, Doug. He has been a mentor to me. And uh, he, you know, if I have to say if, 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 there's a, if there's another mayor out there or former mayor who is a bigger cheerleader than I am for the city of Baltimore, I will say it's Doug. So I'm glad to have you on my team, Doug. So again, thank you all very much uh, for bringing this program and I'm looking forward to all of the young men behind me being able to write their own success stories with uh, the partnership of the NFL. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Tina Queen. I'm the athletic administrator here at the historical Frederick Douglass High School. And um, I would like to say um, it was a pleasure this summer sitting in on the interview committee um, when we were selecting the person who was going to come in and mold our student athlete. And um, I would like to take this time to personally welcome our new academic advisor to the Freddie Douglas family, and her name is Ms. Michelle Harper. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming out today. This has really been a long journey. Um, like Dr. Dr. Hurd said, I, I traveled a long way. I'm originally from Mississippi. So I spent the last five years being an academic advisor for the University of Southern Mississippi, where I was pretty much hands-on with um, my student athletes. I worked with pretty much every sport, uh, from football and um, finally ending with women's basketball and the track and field team. Um, and it, it is a great honor to be here today, and I thank you guys, and um, that's all I have to say, thank you. <laughs> Again, we thank you for uh, coming out for this press event. Um, we will have a light re uh, reception for those of you who've been invited for our reception and our guests in the media center of our school. So we will take a little journey up to the media center. Again, to all of you who have attended, our parents, our band, our wonderful school community, thank you. And we look forward to seeing you on Friday here at 4 o'clock for a tailgate and another win. So uh, come back and join us for an amazing uh, season. Thank you and have an awesome day.